Hello and welcome. This is Kushbu Bhatta and today we will learn how you can automatically WhatsApp confirmation messages to your customers when they place a cake order online. Suppose you run a bakery and you received an online cake order. Now you want to send a confirmation message to your customer. So how will you do it? First you can go to Google Forms, you can copy all the customer response, come back, compose a message and send it to every single customer via WhatsApp. However, this can be a lengthy process. So how about you try our Babbly smart way. Here we will integrate Google Forms with WhatsApp all using Pabbly Connect. So whenever your Google Forms receives a new cake order, it will automatically send a WhatsApp message to your customer. Come to my screen to see how we do it. To send WhatsApp confirmation messages of online cake orders, let us first go to Pabbly's website. On the top right, you will see sign up free and sign in. Since I already have an account, I will just sign in. Go to Pabbly Connect. On the top right, you will see a create workflow button. It will ask you to name the workflow. I will simply write Google Forms to WhatsApp. Since I will be using Google Forms for collecting forms, create. Here it will show you two windows, trigger and action. Trigger is basically when this happens, action says do this. Now let us select Google Form as our trigger application. Trigger event would be new response received. Why? Because we want every time a new response is received on the Google Form, a WhatsApp message should be sent. Here is a URL, a webhook URL. A URL is basically a link that connects two applications. Let us copy this and you can read the instructions here. We will have to paste this URL in Google Sheet. So let us see how we do that. All right, so this was the form that I had made, a dummy form. Now let us go to response and click here. Create spreadsheet. So now you can see this is the Google Sheet and it has all the same fields like we had in our form the same fields are you a new customer and what would you like to order you can see see these here so what will happen is all the data from google forms will be collected here will be here at one place so let us quickly integrate this now go to extensions on the top here you will see pabbly connect webhooks initial setup so remember the url that we had copied yes this one we will have to paste it here and let us paste it trigger column it asks trigger column is usually the last column of your spreadsheet in our case it would be column k then let us just submit all right now again come down come to extensions pabbly connect webhooks and send on event what this will do is whenever there will be a new addition in the Google Sheet, it will send the response to Pabbly. Now let us quickly go to Pabbly's page and here you will see it is waiting for webhook response. So to check if we have successfully connected Pabbly and Google Forms, let us quickly go and fill a dummy form. Here we had prepared and this is the form. Okay, let me view this and this is the form. Okay, let us quickly fill in the details here. Now you can see we have filled in the, these details. Let us just submit the form. Okay, the form has been submitted. Now let us go to Pabbly's page and see if we have received any response. Yes, here you can see the item you would like to order is a cake, the flavor, the name, mail address and phone number, ad delivery time, details, everything else is here. All right, that means we have successfully integrated Google Forms with Pabbly. Now let us come to the next step, the final step, action it is. We will write WhatsApp, WhatsApp Cloud API. Now action event would be send template message. Now let us connect. 
All right. Add new connection. Okay. So here it will ask you for a few keys. For this, let us go to developers page. Now on the come, come on to the left hand side. WhatsApp you will see. Go to getting started. Here are the keys. Temporary access token key like you can see it here. Let us copy this. Come to Pabli's page. Paste it. Again on developers page you can scroll down and you will see phone number ID. Copy this onto the Pabli's page and paste it. Now it asks WhatsApp business account ID for again we will have to go to developers page. Right next to phone number ID you will see WhatsApp business account ID. Copy. Come back. Paste and save. All right. This means it is successfully connected. Now it will ask you for the template name. So I had prepared a template with cake order. So the template is basically the message that would be sent to the user on WhatsApp con uh, or sorry on order confirmation. I'll show you the template. Here it is. We had prepared. Hi, Roger Bini. This is just a template and therefore this name. You can write the user's name here. Like, in, like you can see the fields here. Hi. And in this bracket, you will have to fill the name. The person you are sending this message to. Again, your order of the product that the user has ordered. Your customer has ordered. You will have to write the product here. And yeah, this was our dummy. Again, let's go back to Pavli Connect and map in a few details. So now it needs recipient mobile number. Let us go to Google Forms and quickly map it from here. Now it says body field one that is again, I'll show you the template message so that it is clear. Hi, here you will have to write your customer's name. In this case, we will map, go to Google Forms and we will take the name. Here it is sample dummy. Again, scroll here. It says body field two. So let us see in the template what it is. Here, your order of this, the product that the customer has ordered. So let us go here and see what product has the customer ordered. The customer has ordered cake. What is the item that you would like to order? Cake. So let's click here. Scroll down. Here is the timing basically. The delivery timing. Let us again go down and map it from here. This is the timing, delivery timing. All right. Now scroll down. Here it is asking the delivery date. So scroll down and here you will see the delivery date. Click. Now I think all the details have been mapped. Yes. Let us quickly save and send test request. All right. It says response received. Now let us go to the customer's WhatsApp account and see if they have actually received our confirmation message. So here it is. You can see. Hi, sample dummy. That is the name that we had mapped in. Thank you for shopping with us. Your order of cake, the product that they had ordered. And yes, they have successfully received our confirmation message. Here are the timing, delivery timing and dates. I hope this video was useful for you. For more such videos, you can subscribe to our channel on YouTube.